So I'm a casino owner, I've invented a new game, and I want to know whether this game is a good idea or a bad idea. To do that, I need to be able to calculate expected value and something else called house edge. Let's look at my new game. So here's, here's the game. It costs $2 to play. I'm going to toss three coins in the air all at the same time. Um, now, if you get heads, 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 come down, uh, I'm going to pay you some money. I'm going to give you $3. Um, if you get tails, tails, tails come down, tails aren't as good, but I am going to pay you um, $2.50. If you get two heads, um, I'll pay you $2. Mm, nah, $1. And everything else uh, you lose, I'm going to pay you nothing. All right, um, now let's consider... Now this is a great game, but let's consider what the probabilities are. So the probability of heads, 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 I'm not going to draw the tree diagram, but it's a 1 in 8. Now two-sided coin, tail, 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 also 1 in 8. Now the probability of getting exactly two heads, I should use the word exactly there, but I'm being a bit lazy, uh, 3 in 8. And everything else, well, 1, 1, 3, that's 5, 5 in 8. So the complement of 5 and 8 is uh, 3 and 8. All right, so there's the game in a nutshell. If I add up those probabilities, it's equal to 1. Uh, and these are the payouts you receive. This is the first step of the video. I'm going to talk about the expected value. Okay, let's see how to work out the expected value, which we'll just call EV for now. Now, 1 eighth of the time, there's a 1 in 8 chance that I'm going to pay $3.00. Plus, there's a 1 in 8 chance that I'm going to pay $2.50. Plus, there's a 3 in 8 chance that I'm going to pay $1. And this next bit's a bit redundant. Um, there's a 3 in 8 chance that I'm going to pay $0. Now, a bit sloppy here. We don't need the dollar signs. I just want to make it clear that we're dealing with money. So if you do this, you don't need to put those dollar signs in. All right, if I type all of that into my calculator, I'll get something like 3 over 8 plus 2.5 over 8 plus 3 over 8. If I put that in my calculator, I'll get $1.625. Uh, in casinos, it matters, these decimal points, even though you're not paying out quarters of a cent. The expected value still holds. Okay, so what does that mean? It means every time a player plays this game, pays $2 to play, the casino can expect to pay that player a dollar and six approximately back. So uh, the expected value is actually, so this is sort of the expected payout, the expected value of the payout. Uh, but the expected value to the casino, EV to casino, is going to be equal to uh, $2, which is the money that the person pays to play, minus that expected value for the payout. All right, so that means that every time someone plays this game, the casino expects to make 93 cents, 94 cents. That is pretty impressive, actually. Uh, to see how impressive, now let's talk about something called House Edge. So formula for House Edge, return to casino divided by amount spent by gamblers. Now the return to the casino is this number here. Uh, let's use a different color pen there. Uh, 0 0.9375. And the amount spent by gamblers is the cost to play, $2. Now if I type that into my calculator, I get 0 0.46875. This is never expressed that way. It's always expressed as a uh, percentage. 46.875%. Um, now that's an enormous house edge, in fact it's a ridiculous house edge. Normally the house edge is somewhere between like 5 to 15%. Uh, percent. A house edge that high, yeah sure it makes money, but people are going to stop playing because they're going to lose money fast and they're going to go, I don't like this game, I'm going to go find a better game, some other different game. So uh, let's think about how to alter this game slightly so that it's more fun to play. And the house edge is sort of more reasonable because you need to keep people playing. Um, so let's um, let's give them their money back. 
Let's give them their money back if they get two heads. Um, now, what does that change? Um, that changes that number there, becomes a two, which means that this becomes not three in eight, six in eight. Now that number is going to change. That number is now 1.4375, which means the expected value to the casino, or I guess the return to the casino, is the amount of cost to play minus that new number, which is a smaller number than we had before, 0 0.5625. Now, I'm going to take that number and put it into our house edge formula and find out what our house edge is now. All right, this looks a little bit better. Um, so if I put that in there, I get a new house edge of 28.125%. That's a still a big return to the casino. That means that every time someone plays, they lose 28.25% um, of their money. Um, it's still not in this 5 to 15%. So maybe I need to make one more change. Uh, I'm going to make that change. I'm going to make heads, heads, heads a, a bit more of a jackpot. Not $3 anymore. I'm going to make it $4. I'm going to make it $4 which means that this is going to be the number 4, and these numbers are going to change. Changing that payout to 4 did change things. The expected value is less for the casino again, but the house edge is still 21.875%, which is still not in the fun zone. I'm going to change 4 to 6, and hopefully we're a game that's fun. Nailed it. Uh, changing that top payout to $6, changed our, the expected value to the casino to 0 0.1875 which changed our house edge to 9.375 percent smack bang in the middle of the fun zone 5 to 15 percent the casino is happy because every time you put down uh, any money it makes almost 10 percent of that money from you um, the player is happy because one eighth of the time they pay two dollars and they win six dollars that's fun. Um, they're actually winning more often than they're losing. Five-eighths of the time, they either get their money back or make a little bit or make heaps. Uh, it, I think this would be a fun game to play, uh, and it's all thanks to being able to figure out that house edge and get it into that nice little like sweet zone. Um, that's the expected value and house edge.